Hey, what's up? Peace and blessings. My name is Giovanna, the spiritual love coach. And so if you came across this video, um, either you like my page or someone that you follow does, um, which is awesome. So I um, do quite a few different things. One, I am a master coach. I'm also an energy healer. Um, I do Reiki as well as angelic healing. And I also work with essential oils. And I do tarot card and oracle card readings, which I really, really love. Um, I've been reading tarot for myself over 10 years. They were a very, um, very awesome tool that I used for my own personal healing and transformation. Um, and so for me, to be honest, this is one of my first live readings that I've done on Facebook. Normally, like I'll just record the video and upload it, but I'm feeling inspired today because um, one of my mentors who I actually studied tarot under reached out to me um, for a reading. <laughs> and um, that was such an honor to have her come to me um, because that means she trusts me. She trusts my skills, my gifts, and my knowledge. So since I was a little high off of that, I was like, let me pop up here and um, do the general reading live instead of just uploading a video. Hello, Goddess Afua. Thank you for joining. So I did pre-shuffle and um, pull the cards. And so I titled this, What's holding you back I think because I'm seeing that a lot of us are feeling trapped and wait before I get started I do want to say that this is a general reading so it may not resonate with you and if it doesn't that's totally okay take what feels right and leave what doesn't um, and I do also offer personal readings that are private and confidential so if you would like to schedule a private reading with me visit spiritualovetarot.com if you are local in the Raleigh area, you can visit me in my lovely office located in North Raleigh. Okay, back to the reading. So what I'm seeing is that a lot of us are feeling trapped or you know, we're holding on to something that does not serve us. Possibly somebody did us wrong in some type of way or you're feeling that um, things are not going your way, something or someone has done an injustice and you're feeling trapped you're holding on to that energy so for a lot of us it's going to be a month of release of course because you know as we're going into the fall season and it's not um surprising that this this came up during the reading so what I'm showing too is that you can allow whatever it is that you're feeling, where you're feeling stuck, where you're feeling trapped, where you feel that you're not being supported or um, stuck or where you're feeling a lot of judgment on yourself. You can use those things to propel you forward and to open up a door for healing, for spiritual growth, for personal growth, and for change to come in. Now, if you are... A proactive person and you feel like you know what yeah this is bothering me and I want to do something about it that's gonna work out great and this is the right time to do that however if you are someone who's kind of resistant like nah I'm not gonna deal with this whatever it doesn't matter um, life might force you to deal with it and so you may have those moments of chaos where things seem to like fall apart and it kind of forces you to like look at the situation and get your stuff together. So um, if you already know that there's some areas of life where you're like, okay, I need to do something about this, go ahead and start working on it now so that you're not pushed into it. <laughs> and I'm laughing because earlier this year, I was kind of pushed um, into a situation where I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know in regards to me, um, going into my business full time and so I was like well I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait until the right time and so because I kept waiting until the right time I was pushed out into entrepreneurship and um, it was a beautiful experience don't get me wrong but when we can be in control of um, of forcing to change ourselves. It's a lot more empowering in that way so you don't have the you don't have that feeling like the rug is being snatched out from under you 
So, um, also for some people, you need healing around you. Um, and for some people that might mean a bath. Um, you can even do, if you don't have an actual tub, um, even like a shower, but I'm seeing a lot of water is needed for like cleansing and support. If you live near the ocean or can get to the ocean, that's going to be important for you as well. Um, water is cleansing, especially salt water. Um, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt is beautiful. I always have these um, Himalayan salt lamps around me because they are... Um, cleansing they purify the energy uh, and they just create a beautiful amb ambiance so make sure that you're taking care of yourself during this time of change also allow yourself to be supported so don't feel like you have to do all of this by yourself or that you have to do this whole big shift you can start with one little thing and if we can take small steps in the right direction eventually you will get there so you don't have to get to a place where you feel like you have to upheave everything and do all these big changes small incremental changes lead to longer lasting impact um, the other thing that I'm seeing is that there is a lot of support around you during this time again lean on the people around you pray meditate ask for guidance and trust that it's gonna come into you there will be a period of time where things are like really good and really solid and you're gonna be back on your feet so this might be for those of you who had someone do wrong by you like maybe they owed you some money and you didn't get it um, maybe somebody took advantage of you in some kind of way when when the scales kind of tip back and you're back in the position where you're kind of like back on top, back where you want to be, make sure you're not using, um, misusing or abusing your power to like influence another, right? So we don't want to get into that energy of get back. Karma will deal with that person in their own time. You just take care of you and, um, Focus on what it is that you need to do for yourself to move forward and let them be. So as long as you're staying, you know, focused on yourself, you really can't go wrong this month. <laughs> um, you might come to a place where you need to make a decision and you feel kind of separated. You don't know which way to go. During those times, what you want to do is really drop in to your heart and figure out what it is that your heart truly wants for a lot of us we don't know how to hear our self or you know figure out what it is that we truly want because half of most of our lives someone's always telling us what it is that we need to do so get quiet get still center yourself and really tune in and say okay what is it that i truly desire like put your hand over your heart Take a few deep breaths and just um, give yourself permission to have that space to find out what it is that you truly want and allow that to guide you um, through making any decision really. Like you want to make them from a heart-based place and make sure that it's truly aligned and something that you truly desire. So I'm going to pull for us a power of love card um, these cards are really beautiful and what I oh, what I usually do is pull one like at the beginning of the month or the week and it gives me a word to focus on um, and I think this word is very fitting for the reading that we had especially for those of you who may feel like you know someone's doing something um, wrong against you or you get to that place where you feel like you need a little get back or something along those lines um remember to focus on yourself and spend some time healing maybe you need to get away take a trip um we talked about the ocean um and even just doing um baths and showers to really cleanse your body as you're cleansing yourself physically even if you're not into the spiritual aspect of it it still has an uplifting and energetic cleansing on you that's why like if you're in a bad mood you go take a shower and you feel like a whole nother person you feel like you just like washed all of that stuff away um so the power of love activation card that i pulled is you can't see it can you is loyalty 
loyalty and it says your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being um, so what I usually do is I use that word as a focus point and again there's seems to be a little mistrust here this month so you really want to look at where your loyalty lies um, as well as the people around you if you feel someone is in your circle who does not have your best interest or well-being at heart then you might want to let them go because the people in our lives they can keep us trapped and uh, make us feel less than or lead you down roads that you might not necessarily need to go down um, so definitely you want to pay attention to where your loyalties lie and the people around you are they loyal are they loving are they uplifting or are they going to be creating situations in your life that lead you to feeling trapped that lead you to being taken advantage of so on and so forth so i love saying that during the fall season this is the time where we want to let things go we want to cut off the things that do not serve us that don't fit that we have outgrown in you know our physical lives and our spiritual lives um, thoughts that no longer serve us and that also includes the people and things around us so that is it for this month I just want to look back at the cards and see if there's anything else showing up for me a lot of water so definitely some healing energy is needed um, like I mentioned um, at the start of the video uh, Reiki is a very beautiful cleansing um, energy also sound so music you can listen to um, uplifting music music that makes you feel good and allow yourself to have the permission to be honest and see okay what's making me feel stuck what is keeping me from going to the next level and um, and you will be all right so that is my October reading for the month again you can visit spirituallovetarot.com to schedule your private reading with me and this was a lot of fun I'm so glad that I did this live and I'm looking forward to doing more of these. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you want to see more of this information. I usually do daily card pulls and maybe who knows, I'll come on and do uh, some free readings. All right, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.